Hey, my name is Roddy Perry, and it's time for talking shit. And this is my brother Nick Cannon. Now, Nick Cannon has children. I'm talking about at least six. Roddy Perry, I know you ain't talking about nobody damn kids. Yeah, I got about six myself. But my kids grown. Yes, Rodney Perry and Nick Cannon have been known to shoot up the club. I'm talking about open fire. Everybody going. But Nick said he about to do something about it. That's right. Nick Cannon has taken a consultation with a vasectomy specialist. I ain't doing it. I'm going to be shooting up a club way into my 90s and 100s. But that's just me. Nick said, hey, man, I love my family. And I ain't planning to have all these kids. But hey, people ain't tripping on the amount of kids Nick got. Nah, people is tripping on the amount of baby mamas he got. Yep, you can catch Nick on the mask scene. But he ain't putting no mask on nothing else. Talk about Mariah Carey, Brittany Bell, Abby De La Rosa, Alyssa Scott, Bria Tissy. All gorgeous ladies. I mean, if you're going to have a bunch of kids, have a bunch of kids with a bunch of pretty ladies. Nick said, hey, man, I find solace and peace with my children. And with my kids, I find purpose. Long story short, Nick talking about unloading that gun. Either way, Nick, God bless you, bro. God took the liberty of making you responsible for all them doggone kids. Then that's you, bro. You keep doing your thug thizzle. My name is Rodney Perry, and I'm talking shit. Look like Lil' Mo's out there. I'm a fan. You talk about this girl saying her damn face off. Lil' Mo be singing. But this show, Marriage Boot Camp, I don't know about y'all, but everybody I seen going to this damn show end up broke the hell up. And Lil' Mo caught her band doing the unthinkable. Oh, no, didn't catch him cheating. Didn't catch him with nobody's face in his... What or or with his none of that. She caught his ass. I can't believe it, dog. I know her husband and he's a great guy. But she caught him. Oh my god. FaceTime is somebody else. What the hell? You tell me you can't FaceTime nobody when you're married. Oh shit, I'm going down the drain. Mo caught her man FaceTime. Ladies, is this a deal breaker? I mean you own a damn TV show. I don't believe this shit no more than my believe my name is Willie T. Jenkins. My name ain't no damn Willie T. Jenkins. If your ass go on marriage boot camp, you will break up. Mo busted this dude, and let me tell you something. If you know Mo, Mo pretty volatile. She goes ballistic. I'm sick of you dealing with your disrespectful behavior. And you have to ask yourself why. Why I got with FaceTime somebody else? I tell you why, because his ass on TV on the goddamn marriage boot camp. Mo, don't break up over this. It ain't him. It's that damn show. Get off that damn show, Mo. Get off that goddamn show. I guess technically you'll be off the show because you ain't got no, no marriage to boot camp after you kick him to the curb for the... Anyway, good luck. It's Roddy Perry, and I'm talking shit. By now we all have heard that your boy Kevin Samuels has went on home. Whether you like the man or not, nobody relishes in the fact that the man is gone, right? Almost nobody. Pastor Jamal Bryant did a whole sermon about the dude. If you don't like a brother, talk your shit about him while he's still here. But once he gone, come on, dog. Jabal Bryant went in on a Sunday in front of the congregation. Kevin Sam is the poor excuse for a man. But Jamal, did you cheat on your wife? <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell y'all something. Y'all worship God. Don't y'all worship these dudes. Dudes be tripping. And you know how you put a man in that space where you should be worshiping the Lord, that's when your ass in for trouble. Whether it's Jabal Bryant or Kevin Samuel, don't worship a man. Worship the God Almighty. Hey, y'all, I'm talking shit. I'm out of period. Talk to you later.